What's up, friends, toy collectors, and newcomers? Okay, so I originally thought I was pretty much done with reviewing or getting new live action aerial stuff, but boy, was I wrong. I was only going to look for the land aerial because I never found it um, anytime that I went to the Walmarts, but I knew that today, um, April 23rd, was going to be the day that everything was going to be released. So I got up super early, went to Walmart, they didn't have anything, but then I went to Target and they had it at Target, but then they had all this other stuff, stuff that I was like, you know what, uh, I'm not going to get, but no, 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 there's a lot more. I didn't get everything, but I got a good amount of things that I know I like, I would like, and I know some of you would like as well. So I'm going to show you quick footage of just some of the stuff that they have, and then we're going to review the other things that I got, and I'm excited to show you. Let's do that now. Play footage. So now starting off with what I was actually looking for was my aerial, my land aerial, which I'm super excited that I found. Uh, she comes in the same, pretty much the same packaging as the uh, regular aerial or the fin aerial, tail aerial. And then in the back you can see there's um, the aerial and I don't know why she has the scuttle on there. There's no scuttle in here. but. Um, then they have the tail aerial too. So let's take her out of the box and I can show you guys really quick. Alrighty, so here she is. She is obviously the same uh, face and hair texture as the uh, mermaid aerial. She has curly hair in the bottom and then she has some locks. I know um, in my previous videos I was saying braids and then somebody corrected me and said there are locks, which of course they are locks. I was wrong. Um, so she has some locks on top but none in the bottom. And then her blue dress, it uh, is like a sky color blue and it has like some pleating here in the bottom and ruffles on the neckline and it is uh, long and it has like a see-through um, poofy uh, sleeve. And of course it has some uh, Velcro in the back. She has five points articulation of articulation, which is her head, her arms, her legs, ugh, like that, but nothing else uh, kind of moves, which I don't really like unless you're going to just kind of display. I know these are play line, but I'm thinking of, of rebodying her for sure. I just need to make sure I find the correct one. I am actually thinking she might be the correct one, which is um, Barbie looks number seven. I just need to make sure that it's her. And she comes with some brown little strappy sandals or some sandals. Um, yeah, they're strappy. And I was going to say it has some tentacles, but no, it's uh, like just some like leatherish sandals. Super cute uh, doll. And I'm so happy that I finally found her to complete more of my live action aerials. Um, we're gonna set her aside and move on to this one. This is singing aerial. You'll press the button. How cool is that? I really like her. I saw the photo on Target and it doesn't look the same. So um, this one was $26.99, I believe. 
um, but I'll put the pricing here. Uh, and she comes with her detachable tail and um, her hair is a little different. Let me unbox her and show you guys uh, what she's about all about. So here she is, let's put this here. Um, her hair seems a little fuller than this Ariel's for some reason. So it does feel like she has like heavier or fuller hair. Her locks are a little different. Um, they, this one looks like it's this, these locks look like they've been like under the water <laughs> a little longer. And I don't know, there's just something about it that I like more. Um, I do think that they did a great job with her hair because I feel it's fuller and it has more locks, which I love. Um, her face is the same. She has the painted um, baby hairs and then her beautiful makeup. Um, it even has the little birthmark. Actually, all of them have the birthmark, which I love. And then her uh, bathing suit top or her top is uh, painted on. In the back, it has like where the batteries go. It has this little plastic that I don't want to yank off. I'm going to have to unscrew it um, so that I can kind of take this off. But I don't want to yank it off because uh, I don't want to break it or anything. But if you press her fin, her tail, And you know what? She can sing the entire song, um, but I don't want to put it because I don't want to get um, copyrighted. <laughs> but yeah, she sings pretty much the entire song, which I love. So here she is. We'll set her aside so that we can continue with our next item. This little set is super, super cute. I unboxed one with Ariel and Eric, but this one includes Ursula, which was so sneaky of them because had I known that this one had Ursula or this one was going to be released and I was going to find it, I wouldn't have gotten the other one because it's pretty much, I'm pretty much getting the same items. Except this one has an, an alternative little dress and then it has uh, Flounder and Sebastian and it has uh, the little dingle hopper and Eric's Eric's uh, telescope, which are great sizes for the 11 inch dolls, which is I'm actually going to use that for them. And uh, the Ursula comes with, well, actually, let me just kind of unbox everything. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me unbox everything and show you guys so you, can, so you guys can see it uh, correctly. So let's start off with Eric and Ariel because I've already reviewed these in my previous videos. If you haven't seen those, what are you waiting for? Check those out too. So Eric comes with a little Velcro shirt um, that is removable. It comes with a sewn on a little blue vest and white sleeves. He's wearing some white uh, painted pants and has the black boots with um, the red on top. And then we'll put, we'll use Ariel. This is the mermaid Ariel, but she also comes with the little land dress, although she doesn't come with shoes. Uh, I just noticed that. Then you put the shoes in there, which they should have. Um, I have both the mermaid Ariel and the land Ariel for, for them. Actually, the tail is a dress, um, and it is together with, no, it's not. So. Um, it is a two piece. Uh, the other one was a one piece where the top and the tail were together or sewn on together, but this one is not. Then it has like a little ruffles. The top has a little ruffles and it's like a lavender. So moving on to Ursula. I rushed through those because I've done them already and I was really excited to see her. Look at her face. Isn't she super cute? So the top of her hair or the front of her hair is like a lavender color and then the rest of it goes like into an ombre um, white, uh, true Ursula style. And then she's wearing her shell necklace, of course, and it's all painted on, so nothing is removable. Her arms can come down um, and then her uh, tentacles are not removable that I know of, although they are, it's like a little glued in piece i think that was just you know manufacturing thing where they kind of glued it together but it's not removable at all um and then her dress this one is a little different this one's more of a purple a dark purple rather the other ones um for like from mattel and stuff these are jacks 
The ones from Mattel, they are like a midnight blue with like some matted glitter on it. This one is more of a dark like eggplant purple color. Um, and then the bottom of the tentacles is a light blue or like a baby sea blue. This one's super cute. I'm loving her face sculpt. <laughs> she looks super cute. Now, onto the accessories, which are my favorite part besides Ursula, is they have a Sebastian. They have a Scuttle. They have the Eric's um, telescope. And then they have Ariel's little dingle hopper. And they have Flounder. What I love about these is that these are, they'll go perfect with the 12-inch uh, aerial. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um, if I could just get the accessories, I would. But obviously, I had to get the whole thing just for these and her. I'll set them aside now. And we can move on to this little one because this one wasn't a Target. I found this at Walmart, but I figured I'd kind of throw it in here. Um, this one is the Ursula necklace, and it sings. How cool is that? Even It even lights up like in the movie. Um, look, <laughs> we're matching. So this one is a kid's size, which probably won't fit me, but I'm going to try to lock it on here anyway um, or something. But I like it so, 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 so much. Then we're moving on to, oh, I don't know. The, these next two are two of my favorite sets. I'm going to do this one, this one first. Simply because the other one has so much more little details and I really want to share those with you as well. So this one is the Eric and Ariel uh, set. And this is really, really, really nice. Um, it comes with really cute accessories. I recently found out that Eric gives Ariel, or he gifts Ariel, this little mermaid, jade mermaid statue. I Somebody commented in one of my videos, um, and then I saw it like in some shorts or some clips that they were doing, um, or that they had released. So um, yeah, that's what it is, and I, it's super, super cute. So let me unbox it and show you guys. This set I really, really, really like. I'm going to start with Eric because Ariel has some details that I really like um, that I like more. So we'll do that last. But so Eric comes with a vest and a white shirt. The white shirt is sewn up to be like his sleeves rolled up. Um, and the vest is uh, detachable from the shirt. He comes with some painted on pants and some boots that actually are removable he has curly hair and um his his dark brown uh eyebrows and his beautiful and his beautiful blue eyes which are true to the movie yes i'm going to try to rebody him so i can give him a made to move uh body luckily this is mattel so it shouldn't be so hard to find a body that will uh fit him correctly so the, we'll do that i'll just need to find some pants that will go with his outfit setting him aside i'm going to show you guys the land aerial and this one is i don't want to say it's better than the single aerial um but she does her dress have does have different details so her um i want to say like her bodice part has some details in like paint details right here which the other one doesn't have but the other one has the pleating like i mentioned earlier and this one is just flat this one that's the difference between that that and this um but they both have the ruffles on the dress what i do like about this area is that she's wearing the little headband or the little bandana on her head and she comes with a brown satchel which you could put little things in there which um what we can put the telescope <laughs> or can we yeah we could put this telescope in there we'll put it in there just 
for now. Um, and then it also comes, the set also comes with the little Jade uh, Mermaid that I mentioned, um, that I mentioned earlier, which I think is super cute. So I can't, um, I can't wait to see that in the movie. I actually saw it in the book uh, where he's gifting her this um, also. So um, that is going to be very interesting. Before I forget, she comes with some pink little booties, which is also different from uh, the sandals that the other one came with. So maybe it's not the same dress and it's like maybe it's something similar, but I don't know. Um, this one is, uh, the, the boots have like some details on it, although it's like all painted pink together. We'll set them aside and then we'll show you one of my favorite sets. This is the Little Mermaid Land and Sea Ultimate Story Set. I already had unboxed one of the sisters and one with um, Triton and Ariel, I think, and then somebody else. I don't know. I think it was Ursula. Um, but this one comes with Ursula. It comes with Vanessa. It comes with two Ariels. Flounder Sebastian. It comes with her sister Tamika. Um, it comes with Eric. Uh, Scuttle, Max, and Triton. So let's unbox them and kind of show you guys the details on all of them. I'm going to start with the ones that I already unboxed so that we can kind of get those out of the way. <laughs> we'll start with Triton. He has his Triton, which I love. He also comes with um, the armor. Did the other one have the same armor as this? I need to check. Um, but the armor is like a sea green really nice color armor that's why i think it's different because i'm not i don't remember it come looking like this um he comes with two cuffs gold cuffs and then his fin is or his tail is gold and it kind of ombres into like a green color um and he has like an armor belt which i think is super cool moving on to tamika she has better details i want to say i'm not sure i'm so there's so much <laughs> but her details on this one is cute she is a fan favorite for sure she has um black curly hair she has she's wearing a gold uh little um, headpiece and then her t fin and tail and everything is blue and it has some different colors like oranges and whites and greens and yellows um into it and i think she is super 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 pretty now moving on to Ursula. Ursula, um, this is actually what I meant when I said like her dress is not purple like the other one, like the Jax one. This is more of a midnight blue that has some matted uh, glitter. Um, she has her purple hair in the front and then the back is um, white. And I really, really, really like her. She has obviously her little diva pose. Uh, we'll set her aside. This Ariel is actually different than the set, the other set that I that I saw or that I have. Um, this one has a clear, like green um, tail, and then her fin is pink, and then has like a clear um, on it in the bottom as well. Um, her bathing suit or her top is actually. Uh, painted on obviously but she does have a removable necklace and that is different from the other one this necklace is removable I'm not gonna take it off but just so you guys can see and then her hair um, has like brown um, or it's like reddish um, hair and then you can see that it has the engraved um, locks right there and we're going to now do the sidekicks. So we have Max. Max looks a little different than um, the other things that are, or the other toys that I've um, unboxed. Uh, this one is fully gray and then white in the bottom. So I don't know which one is truer to the live action movie because I don't remember seeing him. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. I just don't remember seeing him. I don't know if he's like fully gray and white or if he's like white and has like gray spots um, because the other one, that's how it looks. So then we have Scuttle, <laughs> super funny, or super tiny. This one doesn't look like Scuttle. It looks like just a regular bird. And then, or I guess because, you know, notice how this one has a longer neck, but yeah. And then we have Flounder, and we have Sebastian. 
which I think Sebastian is super cute in this one. Now we're moving on to Eric. Eric has everything painted on. <laughs> he has his uh, blue vest with white shirt, the um, cream color pants, and the boots. And you can kind of move his hands, his legs, and there's nothing really too out of uh, the ordinary. His eyes are barely blue. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really cute little Eric. See that? And before we move on to our last Ariel, we're going to do um, our Vanessa. So Vanessa comes with a detachable skirt, which I don't see the purpose of. Um, but I do like that it is fabric instead of it being like hard plastic, which is probably the purpose of why they did it. Um, her hair is pretty dark. It's a dark brown. And then she has like the painted on uh, top with uh, some poofy sleeves um, on each side. And then, like I said, the skirt is uh, fabric and she has her black shoes. This is a really, really, really cute um, little Vanessa. And last, but certainly not least, we have our Ariel. So this land Ariel comes with a painted on top with um, her poofy sleeves. She has a fabric um, skirt and her boots, uh, which are the pink ones instead of the sandals. So this is a super, super, super cute. Um, her hair has the locks engraved also and i love it uh does she and she even has a little mole or a little birthmark can you see it right there so with everything that we got today <laughs> i only went for this one doll this one i was in a search and hunting for this one because i was missing her and then they end up bombarding me with all this other stuff um but you know it's it is what it is and i love it and this is what i sponsor myself for <laughs> speaking of i'd like to thank peony social events for sponsoring this video that's our small business i you gotta throw it in somehow it's gonna be uh it's it's taxable <laughs> <laughs> it's an expense um but yes i i'm super happy with everything that i found and i really hope that you guys find it too um what i did they usually they sometimes they don't have them out in the aisles or in the end caps at target so i always ask so you might want to do that too so ask um some one of the associates for the most part all of them I want to say for the most part all of them are very helpful at finding something for you especially if you have the product number they'll look for it in the back or they'll tell you if it's in the back and they'll bring it um to you so this is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also comment down below what you think of this new ariel and little mermaid merchandise that has been released from target there is more stuff that i know it's going to be released i know some of it is um, you can find on amazon and some of it you will be from shop disney don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to get a notification every time i upload a new video maybe it'll be more aerial stuff i'm not sure i was thinking this the previous one was my last video but i was wrong i'll talk to you guys soon bye